Okay, good morning, you three. Today you are going to do your review, so it's going to recap everything that we've learned in our multiplication topic so far. So we've got 32 times 4. There's two methods that you learned for this. You can choose whichever one you want to do. So you've got 32 times 4. You can do it in a long multiplication method. So you would do 2 times 4 is 8. 0 in your 1s column. 3 tens times 4 tens would be 12 tens. Add those together would be 128. Okay. Or you can do it in the method where you carry over if you needed to. So we've got 32 times 4, 2 times 4 is 8, 3 tens times 4 is 12 tens, 32 times 4 equals 128. I don't mind which method you do as long as you feel comfortable with it. So choose one of those methods, do 56 times 3 and 74 times 2. Then we've got some division questions. So we've got 52 divided by 4, using the method that we learnt last week, you would do 52 divided by 4. Now we know that 5 is not in the 4 times table, but 4 is. So we're going to see how many 4 is going to 4, which would be 1. Put 0 in your 1's column and do 4 times 1, which would be 40. Take those away. 2 take away 0 is 2. 5 take away 4 is 1. That would leave us with 12. Okay, then how many 4 is going to 12? So we've got 4, 8, 12, which would be 3. That shows us that 52 divided by 4 is 13. When you lay your method out like this, you need to make sure the number you are dividing is on the outside and your total is on the inside, under this line here, not on top, because that would look like your answer. Okay? See if you can use that method to do 72 divided by 3 and 96 divided by 8. So you would lay it out, so you've got 72 divided by 3 and then you've got 96 divided by 8 okay right and then we've got some more fractions so again a half of 24 how many twos go into 24 if we count in our two times tables we would know that that would be 12 how many tens into 60 in your 10 times table and then how many eights into 56 Okay, so see if you can have a go at those two on your own. Right, so at the start of our multiplication topic, we had re repeated addition. So we've got 22 times 2, which would be the same as 22 add 22 would be 44. Okay. And then we've got 33 times 3, which would be the same as adding 33 three times. So we've got 33, add 33, add 33, would be 99. And then you've got 45 times 4. This one, we would break it up into 10s and 1s. So you've got 4 times 40, add, which you would need to work the answer out to this one. So 4 times 4 is 16, so we know that that would be 160. And then you've got add four times five because we need to add our one, ones as well. So we've got four times five would be 20 and then add those two together would give us 180. Okay? Right, multiplication. So again, in your book, it is using the method that carries over, but I don't mind if you change that method to the one that you feel more comfortable with. So you've got 6 times 2 is 12. 2 in our 1's column, carry over our 110. So you've got 4 times 2 would be 8. Add one more, would give us 92. So 46 times 2 would be 92. Okay. 77 times 3. 7 times 3 is 21. Put our 1 in the 1's column, carry over two tens. 7 times 3 is 21, add 2 more would be 23. Okay, so that would give us 231. But again, if you want to sit out in your book next to it and do the long method, that is absolutely fine. So if you do it this way, 7 times 3, 21. 0 in your 1's column, 7 tens times 3 tens. Add those two together give you 231 okay i don't mind which method you use 
And then down the side again, you've got your space where you work out your dividing. So we need to see the method that we saw in the books. Okay, so it's 92 divided by four. How many fours into nine? Nine's not in the four times table, but eight is. So we would see how many fours go into eight. Put four, eight, that would be two. Put a zero in your ones column. Multiply four and two together, which would be eight. Take those away. Two take away zero is two. Nine take away eight is one. How many fours into 12? 4, 8, 12, that would be 3. So 92 divided by 4 would be 23. And we would double check our remainders by taking 12 away to give us 0. Okay. If you're stuck, look back at the YouTube videos that focused on the division method just to give you a quick recap and to help you. So then 51 divided by 3. How many threes go into five? Five's not in the three times table, but three is, so it would be one. Zero in your ones column. Three times one is three. Take those away. How many threes into 21? Three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, 21. It would be seven. Take 21 away. That would be, give us 17. So 51 divided by 3 would be 17. Okay, if you need any help or you're stuck with anything, just message us on Dojo and we will try and get back to you as quickly as possible. Have a lovely day.